Hello, and welcome back. Today, I wanted to start off the show with reading a little a viewer mail, okay? So, Jen, please. There's no mail. Uh, today, we're gonna be making a vermicelli chicken bowl, uh, Vietnamese style, and we're also gonna be making some uh, Vietnamese spring rolls. We're gonna put shrimp in that, and then we're also gonna make some cream cheese wontons. So gather your materials and let's get started. If you want a dish to surprise your friends, this is the one. This video will be broken down into three parts. Let's start by making the wontons. If you like them creamy, make sure you have some sour cream on hand. We'll be making about 40 of these, so one block of cream cheese should be about right. As we prep the ingredients, we will just add them right into a medium mixing bowl. Start by thinly slicing three to five green onions and mince one or two cloves of garlic. A lot of times I add more or less depending on how much I have laying around. Add two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce and one teaspoon of soy sauce. I'm gonna be using imitation crab meat for this. However, if you do have some crab laying around, by all means, use that if you would like. Roughly chop the meat and add it to the bowl. The meat will separate into smaller pieces as you stir. Your cream cheese should be softened by leaving it out for a while to make the stirring easier. Not softening it will just require more stirring. I didn't think the filling was creamy enough here, so I added about a cup of sour cream. Honestly, if I went back, I would probably add a touch more because it gives a more smooth texture. The wraps can be found in the refrigerated section. However, I've seen them placed everywhere from the cheese section to the ice cream aisle, so locating them is always a journey. Start by adding about a teaspoon of filling in the center. You don't have to overdo it because they'll puff up pretty full with that amount. Since you have about four dozen of these to do, you'll figure out the right amount for you. I fold mine into triangles, but I see people also making little purses out of them. Wet around the outsides with dabs of water. Fold the bottom corner to the top corner to form a triangle but make sure that you press all of the air out of the inside. Another little tip is to make a crease in the center with your finger before you fold the corners together, kind of like this. Now, wet the two corners on the long side and press them on top of each other. Before we start frying, let's wrap up some spring rolls and make the dipping sauce so it can be marinating. I wanted the vermicelli in the spring roll to have a little snap, so I only soaked it in warm water. This, however, took quite a while, so next time I would add it to hot or boiled water. Finally chop a small shallot and add to a medium bowl. Slice and julienne a carrot and add to the bowl. I have a ton of baby carrots, so I just used some of those. Finely slice a scallion or two and add to the bowl. Sprinkle with a little white pepper. If you don't have white pepper, black pepper should be fine. Add two tablespoons of fish sauce, one egg, and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. The recipe linked calls for chicken, but I wanted to use up some salad shrimp I had in the freezer. I just ran water over them for a few minutes to thaw out. Looks like I used about two cups worth, and even though they were really small, I still went ahead and minced them up. Drain the vermicelli, chop, and then add to the mixing bowl. Stir until everything is incorporated well. I added about two tablespoons of the filling and wetted the outside of the roll wrap. Roll the bottom corner to the center and press tightly. Next, fold the sides in and completely roll up. 
I got about 10 spring rolls with this amount. Just go ahead and freeze any that you won't eat now. Also, throw those spring roll wraps in the freezer. There was about 40 spring roll wraps, and I only wanted to make 10, so there were plenty of wraps left over. Let's move over to the stove to fry our wontons and spring rolls. This is very straightforward. Add about three inches of oil in a deep medium pan. Work in small batches until you're done. These fry for four to five minutes per batch or until golden brown. Set them on paper towels to soak up the oil as you pull them out. Now, let's make this little dipping sauce for the wontons that I am over the moon about. I'm gonna use this with so many other things now. Mince two cloves of garlic and finely chop two Mexican tree chilies. They're called arbol chilies. Add one tablespoon of sugar one teaspoon of white vinegar, one tablespoon fish sauce, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Add a dash of salt and two tablespoons of water. Mix this up and allow it to marinate. Since this is such an intense recipe, go ahead and pour yourself a beer. We're on the downhill side of this recipe now. All we have left is the vermicelli bowl. I'll be making this with chicken, but you can make it with pork or beef. I'll start by pouring in two tablespoons of hoisin sauce and two tablespoons of oyster sauce and two tablespoons canola oil over three thin boneless chicken breasts. Put that in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. While that's cooking, let's go ahead and make the dressing. Combine a half a cup rice vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of fish sauce, two thick cut slices of ginger, one clove of garlic, and put all those in a small saucepan. Heat on the stove, stirring until the sugar has dissolved. Prepare the vegetables for the bowl, starting with shredding two carrots. Slice a jalapeno and a green onion. Keep all these separate as we prep. Remove the leaves from cilantro and measure out about a half a cup of that. We can now do the noodles. I'm going to set these in previously boiled water for about five minutes. While that is soaking, I can chop a quarter cup of peanuts and quarter a lime for garnish. Create a bed of lettuce in a bowl as a base for the salad. By this time, the chicken should be cooked. Take the chicken and pan fry for two minutes to char it and slice on a cutting board. To assemble the salad, add vermicelli to the lettuce and top with the sliced chicken. Next, add all of the prepped ingredients. Carrots, green onions, jalapeno, cilantro, mint, peanuts, and finally, add the prepared sauce. For presentation, half one of the spring rolls and add on top of the bowl for an authentic look. 
wow. I know it took a lot of work, but it was worth it. The wontons will taste so fabulous in the spicy pepper dish and everyone's gonna love it. The good thing is you can have all the ingredients prepped for some awesome leftovers. We had about one extra bowl left to where the next day, all I had to do was heat up some noodles and then throw everything in it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you try this recipe. I promise that if I can do this, so can you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next delightful dish.